Here we can see the new yellow crane being brought up. It's massive. A lot of people pointed out today that this is kind of like crane heaven. There's a lot of cranes here. There's over cranes and lifts. There's over 15 lifts and cranes at this one location here. I counted them earlier today with the several people. We we're having fun just on the live stream counting them all the cranes and lifts. It's a lot. This is a look at the quick disconnect fueling structure. It's going to be required for the first launch. So they want to get this thing done at ASAP as soon as possible. And each day they add new, new of these white tubing and some of the other tubing. They're doing welding all the time. They're working on this 24 seven, this quick disconnect. They are nearing some type of completion for at least part of the catch arm because it's been painted and the scaffolding has been removed from this one end here. I'll pan to the left and you'll see some areas where there is still some scaffolding. I zoom out. See, they are still working on the V structure over there, which is a different part of the catch arm. Some people think that that will maybe attach to the booster or maybe up to the top of the Starship when everything's stacked on the overall launch platform. Today the road got a base coat layer. First uh, in the morning, they during the intermittent road closure, they graded the road and then they compacted it. And then after that, they laid some base coat, the sticky black layer on the top. The big yellow crane on the left, the Lieber crane, the Buckner crane was disconnected from that. GSC sleeve cover all the way on the right. I'll use my hand. Over here. This was attached to the Lieber crane, and today they removed the load spreader from the top there. The big berm over there, which divides the overall launch platform from the suborbital landing area, uh, is growing quite a bit of vegetation, and I think that is planned, is what I've been told, that they're that diagonal slant there, they're planning to leave it as vegetation, green, and uh, they may concrete the sides of the berms, the, you know, the outsides, but the, the inside diagonals are going to stay green. <laughs> 